Sound, 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 sound. Here we go, here we go. Hello everybody, I am Atod. Welcome to Cambodia. So I'm doing a little bit of a review on FreeFly's Movi system for the iPhone 10 S and Moment Lenses wide 18 millimeter lens. I'm really excited to try to stretch all of these tools and see how cinematic we can make this material on a telephone. So here we go. Right out of the gate, I was pretty impressed by this whole setup. I think the biggest thing I was impressed by is just the absolute speed at which you can get shots. I've done several shoots at Angkor Wat before with setups like the RED and Moby M10 and the Moby M15 with a big Sony camera, and there is no doubt your productivity goes way higher than carrying around a big camera system. Uh, okay, hold on, look. okay, wait, I'll start over. Boom, Moby, it's at 4K, 60 frames per second. After I got really comfortable with the Moby system, I started to play around with Filmic Pro to see what kind of dynamic range differences and color differences I would get from the Moby app versus the Filmic Pro app. Initially, the differences looked like this. This was Moby app's auto exposure inside the temple, but when I started tweaking it and playing with the exposure to the sky, to the interior, and locked it in place, I think I found a happy medium. Honestly, it's a little bit hard to say which one's doing a little bit better in terms of color space and dynamic range. So I tried to shoot a variety of the same situation with both apps. I like that Filmic Pro gives you the option of having a flat look over your image so that you can have a little bit more control over color. But to really test this footage, I've given it to a professional colorist to see if in color correction it makes really any difference at all. Also, one thing about the Moment Wide Lens, I love it, but I noticed with the iPhone XS's bigger sensor, I would catch a little bit of the Movi, as you can see here. It's really easy to fix and punch in past that, but thought I'd mention it. Here's what I love about this thing. Roll it. It makes for like some pretty cool shots, I think. And now for an epic twisting footage montage. A lot of this footage is slow and smooth, but I wanted to test out a little bit faster paced, so how about some tempo run? Round one. Tempo run, round two. How much am I stabilizing this footage in post? Not much, to be honest. Check it out. Here's the difference between some warp stabilizer and none. Overall, I'd say I'm super stoked with how cinematic this material ends up looking. Okay. All right, thank you everybody for watching this. If you made it this far, then you're legitimately interested in this tech and you're maybe as much of a tech geek as I am. So congratulations. Here are some very quick final thoughts about this whole setup. I shot all of my clips with the, the Moment Wide Lens in the Moby. The Moment Wide Lens looks like this. I think Moment is definitely making the nicest glass that you can buy for cell phone photography and videography. The only issue I ended up having is I would let the lens live on the case for quite a while and I ended up kind of knocking out the mount a little bit. I, after a lot of use it's had a lot of wear and tear and I end up just I'll just end up having to get a new case but the, you know that's okay. It's totally worth it. This glass is amazing. The moment lens you can get the case, the iPhone case with it. They make other cases as well if you have a different cell phone. You mount the lens directly to the case itself. Once you're up you turn it on and voila. Overall, it's a really awesome setup. Basically, all I thought I'd really mention here is I don't, I'm not sure I totally love the workflow as far as the video goes. So shooting in the Movi app buys you a couple of things. If you shoot in the Movi app, you can control, you have all the extra features in the app itself. You can control the majestic mode, you can use the triggers, you can hit record here. If you don't use the Movi app, then you can't use the triggers and you can't, you, you can't turn the roll off and on. You can't hit record right here. You can't use these triggers right here. So it's really nice to use the Movi app. However, like you see in this video, Filmic Pro I think outperforms the image. 
uh, well, maybe. I'm not so sure about that anymore. After going through the footage with a professional colorist, I think we both determined that essentially all the work that you see that he did in this video is kind of painting on top of the image. When it comes to this iPhone footage, what you see is pretty much what you get. Filmic Pro does add that milky layer across your footage, but it doesn't provide you with any more information. There are some situations where you may not want to crush the blacks automatically, like you get out of the Movie app or just out of the stock iPhone camera. However, the end outcome is essentially the same. So my personal conclusion is that I'll probably just use the Movie app more so that I have all the controls. At least that's the feeling that I get it. I really like the workflow a lot better with, with Filmic Pro. With Filmic Pro, you plug your phone into the computer and take the files directly off of your phone. With the Movi app, I was finding that it would just go directly into my photos application and then it would upload to the cloud and then I would have to figure out ways to either download it straight from the cloud uh, or find a different way to plug right into the phone itself. But on top of that, if you shoot within the Movi app, then it creates temporary video files. Unless somebody out there knows a different workaround, the file naming structure is a little bit of a pain. It was creating duplicate files. So the video workflow with this thing, I'm not super impressed with. However, everything else is incredible. These tools are getting so incredibly powerful. I'm really excited to see where all of it goes. And I, I just love playing with the new things that are coming out. So thank you so much, everybody. I'm Todd. We'll see you next time.